We know that the publicly funded broadcasters like our ABC and the UK's BBC are hysterical about climate change and they're infatuated with renewable energy. But after a story this week, you have to wonder what they're on. The BBC's chief environment correspondent, Justin Rowlett, wrote glowingly about heroin growers in Afghanistan because, well, because they were growing their deadly and illegal crops with renewable energy. It is the story of how Afghan opium growers have switched to solar power and significantly increased the world supply of heroin, he wrote. Yep, there's no grid in the badlands of Afghanistan, so solar power is cheaper and more reliable than diesel generators. Hardly a surprise. But the BBC is excited. Using solar also means farmers can grow poppy in places where they never would have considered farming before. There they are, the green left, getting high on renewable energy. It's almost as if global warming evangelism is a hard habit to kick. Oh, and this was endorsed in Australia by the leftist agitators and commercial bullies sleeping giants. They say the heroin growers leave the anti-renewables Luddites in Australia in their wake. Well, they leave someone in their wake. Junkies, I would have thought. That's sleeping giants, the radical online activists who try to force their loopy green left values on everyone in the media. Gemma, this is one of the kookiest stories I've seen for a while. I kind of heard the Eagles hit song Desperado playing in the back of my mind while I was watching that <laughs> clip because truly, if this is what they are now reporting on in order to keep the climate, you know, garbage that they that they perpetuate going, then they're, they're properly desperate. I mean, the very idea that you can... I mean, sure, report that story if you like, but without the context of heroin as a drug, what it does, the damage, the global war on drugs, all of that really important context just goes to show how terribly conflicted they are, how utterly void of any kind of context and balance they are. I mean, even that tweet, you know, as insidious as the end product is, that's just saying, well, means to an ends, people, you know, doesn't really matter. It's, it's again, if they want to know why most people don't trust the climate narrative, just chalk that one... Uh, chalk that up to another reason why. Spot on, Gemma. Thanks for joining us, Gemma and Kill. Really appreciate your input. Our keep, pleasure. Uh, keep watching the media. Keep an eye on them. <laughs>